So finally you have found these two CPU models that fit your budget PC build. But are you still confused of what actually separates them and which is more worth for money? Yes, I'm going to answer that through this video with some benchmark tests and the reasons behind the selected model. Both models are identical in features like cache size, memory bandwidth, number of cores, even the power consumption rating. The actual variance lies in their clock speeds, caching method and the integrated graphics chipset used. First I will talk about the clock speeds. The i5-6400 has lesser base and turbo boost clock speed. This Intel Turbo Boost technology is implemented in Core i5 and i7 CPU models and it dynamically increases the standard base frequency when the operating system is in need of higher performance from the CPU. This frequency will vary with each active cores and the thermal limit of the CPU. The i5-6400 is 100 MHz deficient in both base and maximum turbo frequency compared to 6402. But this difference doesn't end here. In this graph, you can see the turbo booster clock speeds of these two models with respect to number of cores used. The 6402 self overclock at 3200 MHz when in demand of all the four cores. It runs significantly higher at 3400 MHz in both single and dual core modes. So if you involve the 6402P in a program that only uses two cores, it performs slightly better than the 6400 due to the clock speed advantage. Next, the HD Phyton integrated graphics used in the 6402P is weaker than the HD 530 employed in 6400. But both GPUs are well enough to run 4K videos without any stuttering. The HD 530 in 6400 will yield you higher frame rates in games than the HD Phyton. Still, these integrated Intel GPUs are unfit for any graphic intense gaming. Both will struggle to produce playable FPS. The next final difference is the smart cache memory implementation in 6400. Though many website reviews found there is no prominent benefit with this method. Now you are going to see some benchmark results comparing these two processors. So which one will you choose now? Well, it is very clear that if you intend to use the integrated GPU for occasional low resolution gaming, the i5-6400 makes sense. And that is going to be my only reason in favor of i5-6400. I find the i5-6402P as a clear winner in terms of pure processor performance and at least 10% faster than 6400. It also remains a solid choice for gaming when you pad it with a discrete video card. Thanks for watching this video and hit the thumbs up button below if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe which is going to energize me to create more videos.